pictograph. In this module, you will draw a pictograph. Neil sees the attendance board outside every classroom in his school. He notes down the attendance record of every class. 20 students are present and 4 students are absent in class 1. 28 students are present and 1 student is absent in class 2. 24 students are present and 4 students are absent in class 3. 28 students are present and 2 students are absent in class 4. 24 students are present and 2 students are absent in class 5. Neil shows this data to his mother. She asks Neil to create two separate tables, one for students present today in all five classes and the other one is for absent students in all five classes. He draws a table in his notebook. Now his mother asks, Do you know any other method to represent this data? Neil replies, Yes, we can represent this data in the form of a pictograph. But I do not know how to draw a pictograph. She explains, Pictograph is a pictorial representation of data. Let us draw a pictograph for the number of students who are absent. Let us first draw a table for pictograph. Make a row for each class. We draw one picture to represent one student of the class. Four students are absent in class 1. So we draw four pictures for class 1. One student is absent in class 2. So we draw one picture for class 2. Four students are absent in class 3. So we draw four pictures for class 3. Two students are absent in class 4. So we draw two pictures for class 4. Two students are absent in class 5. So we draw two pictures for class 5. This way, we have represented the number of absent students using the pictures for each class in a pictograph. Neil says to his mother that he wants to draw a pictograph for the students who were present that day in all the classes. He finds that the number of present students in different classes is large. To represent the present students in class 1, he requires 20 pictures. It will take a big table to accommodate the pictures. Neil asks his mother how this data can be represented in a pictograph. She explains that to overcome this situation, we need a key. We use one picture to represent one or more than one number. Here, we can represent four students using a picture as the number of present students in each class can be divided by 4. Now let us find out how many pictures we require to represent the number of present students. We can divide the number of present students by 4. The number of present students in class 1 is 20. On dividing 20 by 4, we get 5. So we draw 5 pictures for class 1. We can say in other words, that one picture stands for four students. When we add four five times, we get 20. Similarly, we represent for other classes. And draw the number of pictures we require to represent the number of present students. We can divide the number of present students by four. The number of present students in class two is 28. On dividing 28 by 4, we get 7. So we draw 7 pictures for class 2. The number of present students in class 3 is 24. On dividing 24 by 4, we get 6. So we draw 6 pictures for class 3. The number of present students in class 4 is 28. On dividing 28 by 4, we get 7. So we draw 7 pictures for class 4. The number of present students in class 5 is 24. 
On dividing 24 by 4, we get 6. So we draw 6 pictures for class 5. Let's recap. A pictograph is a pictorial representation of data. We use a key to represent data through a pictograph.